And today we are celebrating one of the hardest working creatures on the planet. We're talking about bees. Today is World Bee Day. The Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations reports three out of four crops across the globe rely on creatures like bees. And joining us now this morning to talk about the importance of bees and what they do for our world is Ashby Miller of Ashby Farms in Burlington. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Hey, good morning. How are you? So good, thank you. Um, let's first talk about your farm. Tell me um, how long you guys have been around, kind of the story of how it all got started. Sure, so uh, about six years ago, I started a small produce farm here. We started off doing lettuce and quickly transferred into tomatoes, and we do cut flowers, cut sunflowers. And uh, so this year we raised about 2,000 uh, tomatoes. And about three years ago, I found the need for pollination. So I got into beekeeping and I absolutely fell in love with it. Wow. And started my journey with bees. Into bees and bee making. Now tell me the vital importance of bees. I feel like it is a constant kind of reminder of what they do for our world. Exactly. So you touched on this earlier. You know, about three out of four um, crops need pollination, and mainly that is by honeybees. So honeybees, um, a lot of, there's a number of ways you can make money with honeybees, but one thing people do is they take 18 wheeler loads of bees around the country depending on different times of year. Um, you know, cucumbers are getting pollinated now. Uh, blueberries up in Maine will get pollinated in about two months. And uh, back in early February, you had almonds in California. So there's uh, the commercial route of people that just do pollination. Um, and without them, the human race would be dead in about four years. <laughs> uh, they are that critically important to the world. People just do not understand. Uh, without honeybees, uh, our food supply would be gone. That's remarkable. Now, when people kind of think about bees, the first thing is honey, right? Talk about the natural benefits of honey because there's different kinds out there. It's all natural and then, you know, those that they kind of just add all this sugar and artificial flavors to. I'm glad you touched on that. So, unfortunately, the honey business, honey as a food product, is one of the most unregulated foods in the world. Mm. Uh, the United States alone imports a lot of our honey from both China and Argentina and Chile. And a lot of it is diluted with high fructose corn syrup. And the reason that they're able to do that is it basically increases the weight or the volume. And so they're able to make more money. Um, in the world of honey and the benefits to humans, it's all the little pollen pieces that the bees add into the honey or just get trapped as part of the process, the extraction process. And that not only the pollen uh, for your allergies, but also um, all the micro enzymes that the bees add to the honey uh, are just super beneficial for your gut flora and fauna. Um, people just have remarkable um, increases in their health overall, um, insulin levels, uh, anything dealing with your cardiovascular system. Um, there's just all kinds of benefits that, that honey, natural honey, and when I say natural honey, I mean like go find your local beekeeper Get on Facebook, get on YouTube, get on uh, just, you know, just about any internet source and, and find the guy who's not diluting with high fructose corn syrup. Find the guy, yeah. and, and they always say that the, the honey that's local to you is best. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I'm glad you talked about the benefits. Now, lastly, I want to make sure that folks, if they can't visit you at your farm in Burlington, you have that YouTube channel where kind of you talk about the um, beekeeping knowledge, right? Right, so uh, it's Ashby Farms NC. We're located here in Burlington, North Carolina. Um, our bee yards are kind of all within about 30 minutes around. Um, of course, we're on a commercial level, so we're, we have about 700 hives. And while I am not a honey producer, um, with my business actually, we produce more bees, we propagate more bees. Um, bees have been in their own pandemic since the early 1990s. And currently, varroa mites are their biggest adversary. And we kind of joke now, we're not beekeepers, we're mite tenders, meaning we're just mm. trying to manage the mites. With commercial beekeepers, it's not uncommon to see 30% losses. And so with my business, we make more bees to resupply those who make commercial honey and those who do commercial pollination. So I, uh, we grow bees and we sell bees to the other beekeepers, uh, other commercial folks. Um, as far as my YouTube channel goes, uh, I try and do some entry level or, or you know, just beginner. If, you, if you're having a, wanting to get into bees, it's Ashby Farms NC is the channel. 
Uh, a lot of the stuff we do is kind of that person who's trying to maybe go from hobbyist where he's got two or three hives, maybe grow it out to maybe 10 hives. You're going to get a lot of ideas, um, just basic how to split hives because bees do two things really well. They make honey and they split and make more bees. And you kind of choose either I want more bees this season or more honey, more honey this season. And uh, so something I'm going to help you do on my YouTube channel is just uh, teach you how to make more bees, more hives. Oh, if you have some, some wintertime losses, um, you've still got your hives for next year. Really interesting to chat with you, Ashby. Thank you so much for joining us. And we have that website on the screen now for folks to come and check you out and learn more. And happy World Bee Day. Well, thank you for having me. I hope you all have a wonderful day. You too. Thank you. We have not even reached the dog days of quite yet.